Hey guys, Rivenhead here. Welcome back to another episode of Cube World. Hope everyone's enjoying themselves today. Happy Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. Middle of the week is here, and it's a good, good week. I tell you, I got nothing to complain about. It's been good. Um, I'm right now, Tuesday, my third day off in a row. Tell you, it feels good. It feels real good having a couple of days off. Uh, looking forward to going back to work tomorrow when you guys are watching this. I will be working the whole dang day. Um, looking forward to it. Uh, four day a week, four hours shifts. I'm okay with them. I'm good with them. Uh, the job is going well. I'm having fun. So, uh, a lot of other things have happened since I last recorded. So I thought I'd get into and talk about some of the things. So over the weekend on Sunday, uh, Armour and I were very fortunate to be able to hang out with the developers of Valoran. And uh, they took us on a couple of hour tour of the game. And a whole bunch of people were in the Discord. Uh, we streamed it over onto the Discord and um, I recorded the whole thing. It's going to be in a bunch of episodes coming up. Um, Valoran will be following 5 o'clock every th day that I do Cube World. So it's going to be Cube World at 2, Valoran at 5. And then whenever other game we're doing at seven, um, those are the only days that I'm doing three videos a day, and I, I, I can do it. I can handle this. Um, if I can't, then Valoran will be the second video of the day, and then you know the third one will just fall by the wayside, and that's fine. But I'm taking it on during my my time that I have off to do some recordings and get some stuff taken care of. Uh, I did a vlog. That's actually up. Not too sure if I've made it live yet or not. I haven't decided when I'm going to post it yet. So it's still... It's up. It's there. So it just has to go live. Um, and that's going to be fun-ish. Yeah. I it, it, it's I need work. Um, settings on the camera I'm still kind of iffy on. I went recording in the middle of the day yesterday. Um, so... Like, it, it washes out, and I don't quite understand how to do a bunch of the extra video editing things, so... And I liked what I was talking about, so I didn't edit anything out. Um, I could have tried to add LUTs and stuff to it, but I just didn't see the need. I like things raw. I don't mind hiccups and warts on things. I'm okay with it. Um, I think we spend too much time working on perfection and not enough time working on being content with it and I'm content with it so that's where we are with it so I'm good ancient ruins of Arador well I don't see anything here which means that it can only mean one thing there's either something underneath it or there is something um, like uh, the only thing left is the hang glider so that could be a thing We'll see. Ah, there's something up here. Now, it's going to be just lower, else our little friend, the um, the treasure spirit, would be out and uh, taking a look at it. So yeah, it's lore, and I'm okay with lore. Lore is good. So yeah, um, hanging out with the guys and folks from Valoran was phenomenal. We loved it. Um, <clears throat> what a great group of people! I tell you, they stayed up late. A lot of them were based in Europe, and it was well past <laughs> a, a reasonable hour. Um, they wanted to make sure that we got into the dungeon and saw the stuff and you know we had some hiccups and some issues they've uh, put out recently a new network code that's supposed to make things a lot smoother and a lot better uh, unfortunately there was a hiccup with it and the server wasn't able to handle things we were unable to get in it was just a whole bunch of things that kind of went south at the same moment and uh, I could tell that we were something we talked to them afterwards and that some of them were very upset by you know how things turned out but that didn't uh, phase us at all. Armor and I were just enamored to uh, be able to have the conversation and just be able to hang out with folks that are so passionate about something that they're doing. And, you know, this is a game that's being developed by folks just like, you know, us. People that love video games, and they're not they're not earning anything off of this as of yet. I think they've got a Patreon going up, but, um, you know, it's not for sale. It's not, you know, it's just a game, man, and I'm freaking in love with it. I think it's wonderful. So this is going to be one of these. Um... Okay, so this is a... Ooh, this is going to be a thing. Okay, so I'm going to leave a mark here. Okay, let's take this one out of the way. And we'll put the mark here so that I will know what's going on. Ah, oh, great. Yeah, he's going to just wreck my day. Perfect. I'm okay with this. Um, 
Let's see what else we're going to do today. Whew, I tell you. It is hot. It is so hot. So dang hot. I'm not happy with this. Um, today we're registering 33 degrees. 32, 33. It's been around 30 most days. Um, my air conditioning keeps up okay with 30 degrees. Does not do great past 30 degrees. Um, so, yeah, we've been having some issues here. It's just hot. And if you guys don't know what 30 degrees is, um, it's centigrade to Fahrenheit. Uh, we are looking at 90 plus degrees. 35 is over 100 degrees. So, yeah, it's uh, it's hot. Like, it's freaking hot and humid and awful and uh, unhealthy. So, you know, in the midst of everything else going on, we have to deal with this crap, which is fine. Uh, okay, so we're going to head south and go from there so yeah whenever it gets this hot my allergies just go nuts because um, I'm allergic to, to dusts and pollens and um, molds and everything else that you can imagine that a person could be allergic to and when it gets hot and dry like this just I can smell dust in the air it just not happy with it I've been waking up every day with congestion and like just feeling like shit. Uh, yeah, using the words. Oh yeah, hey. Great. Thanks guys. Come on, go away. I'm just doing this for XP at this stage. Or I don't even get XP for this. Why am I even doing this? Just go south through it. Just go south. There's nobody here. It's not part of the graveyard. Oh, God. So, yeah. I've been, uh... I, I tell you. I got up this morning. Not sure what was happening with my schedule at work. Um, I didn't, because it got posted. It said that I was off, but it didn't give me hours for the rest of the week. So I just logged on first thing this morning with armor. Uh, every morning we've been getting up. Uh, I, I set my alarm for 7.45. 8 o'clock we hop in, do our little Red Dead stuff, have coffee, chit-chat, and then I go and log into work and go. Um, and so I, um, we did that this morning, and then I was like, yeah, I'm going to go and check everything out for work. I don't know if I'm working yet. And I wasn't, so I, I talked to my, my supervisor, and he's going to try to get my access updated and give me my schedule so I should be able to well I'm, I'll be working tomorrow they're just going to have to tell me what time and when uh, but that's it I'm okay Like I'm fine with uh, oh god everything's mad at me well I did it I killed them all I'm happy with that the bunnies are good bunnies don't want me dead um that was not on our radar. We'll go and check that out. Yeah, so I, my boss told me, yeah, you know, I'll get things worked out. Let you know when things are updated. Very happy to have that. So I just went back and laid down, fell asleep for a couple more hours, got up, started watching some video stuff on Prime. I've been addicted to a Canadian show lately, which I never thought I'd ever say. It's called the Murdoch Mysteries. It's kind of like a Canadian take on like a 1900s version of Sherlock Holmes meets Bones type of thing. And I love it. It's great. We've got a lot of historical characters in it. People that actually were, you know, in Toronto and have done things, you know, in famous names like Nikola Tesla. Uh, you know, Tesla actually built the um, the power plants and things or, or part of the processing power plant in Niagara Falls. So, yeah, there's a statue and things for him in in Niagara and I remembered seeing that the last time I was there so so yeah they have a characters the people that play them and it's funny because the actors that they choose a lot of times are actors from Canadian shows that I know or they're based out of the UK um, I, I watch uh, Coronation Street I am one of those people and so they, I've seen an actor from Coronation Street in it, and it's fun and, and it's it, it's not super you know, it's not, it's got a lot of polish, but I like period pieces and I like the fact that it takes place in the 1900s. Uh, it's time when my grandfather was around. So it's timely for me to kind of see what it looked like just over 100 years ago, you know, and I, that kind of freaks me out that 
it's real earth caterpillar now I don't think that well we'll find out we've got pet food so I don't think this is the right one we'll find out if it kills me it kills me nope we got ourselves a caterpillar my friends oh baby okay hop on our caterpillar we're riding this is a grand thing we finally got a pet oh my god look at this a cute couple too look at that oh see I'm happy we did this today I'm very happy uh, yeah so it's for me I like watching the rock mysteries because like I was saying is it takes place uh, late 1800s early 1900s so my grandfather was born in 1889 I think it was I think it was 1889 or something around there uh, he was 83 when he died in 79 so no uh, 82 83 so yeah he was born uh, late 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 1800s so it's just really weird for me to, to know that you know somebody that I knew was born well and truly a century before two centuries ago now that's kind of crazy it's really nuts for me <laughs> but yeah um, now yeah, look at that another I got to take out that damn tower a lot of stuff is locked behind this stuff so we'll put a map thing here mark it again I wish we could uh, mark them and put stuff on but it's okay you can still head south uh, there's a village here what was that oh oh okay we're gonna go do that am I heading the right way that was a sky thing I think I marked that I'm pretty sure let's go and check yeah we're heading the right direction so yeah um, that's been a thing um, picked up a new game in the Steam Summer Sale um, contemplating keeping it not too sure yet it's uh, another hunting kind of game uh, but it's Bigfoot so I've heard mix it's kind of like a horror hunting game uh, I, I loaded it up the only issue I have with it it's built on the unity engine and just the games that are built with that just feel really weird to me like they don't the first person shooters I should say other games that are built with you know you're fine but it just I find that the, the the shooters just seem to have this really weird feeling to me and I don't like it um, and it's it, it, I own the fact that it you know it feels weird to me but you know whatever uh, we're gonna be resetting the day here quickly uh, it's 16 yeah okay so that was a sky flute thing We'll see if this actually triggers if I've been here before and no, I can't remember what nope it's not been triggered yet this is good ah we need a name for our pet too for our caterpillar so if you guys want to go ahead and drop that down in the comments I will peruse them you may uh, get your name used you may give me inspiration for a name but eventually it will work I always appreciate the feedback so yep that's the thing um, torchlight three another game I've been playing a lot of obviously if you pay any attention to the channel okay why are the things are not working properly here with the sounds I don't know if it's my system or a freaking bag of gold every freaking time that's the third one we found but we've got a, a nice necklace so that makes us powerful not okay we'll get this bag of gold okay it's 50 I mean the thing is is like I need gold I mean I'm a weak weak character so I need uh, you know I need all the stuff I can get so I need to have access to uh, health potions so I need the you know I need to buy all the stuff that's just and it just reset the day I need 10 gold and that's the thing I need uh, we need to do this let's double check and see if I have anything that I need I love how it's a gold amulet again. Let's hop on our pet. A little bit faster than we are. Don't know if these guys are going to give us anything. I guess they could. I'm not seeing anything. Okay. I would like to rest until morning. Thank you. Okay, and then we're on our pet. Things are good. Uh, we were headed south. 
Okay. I got to one I just marked. That looks right. Um, there's another town over there, it looks like. Circle of Power, we've done that. The village over here. Uh, let's just do some... Let's do some stuff. Just gonna go around and take a look at what we can do. There's... I noticed here that there's a couple of spots that we can take a look at. Around the hill. We can take a look at that. You never know. Could be a thing. May not be a thing. Doesn't matter. Just having fun. That's all I need to do. And I need... What I needed to do was to get myself a, uh, a drink of water before doing this. And I didn't because I'm an idiot. So now i got to put a mint in my mouth. Oh, I love my mints. So the XL ones are super powerful, super strong. The only thing I don't like is that they're sugar-free. But beyond that, they're okay. So I try not to take too many of them if at all possible. But you never know sometimes you, you get the hankering for a mint. And I got Tic Tacs. That's my other one. I like those. Love my Tic Tacs. Wintergreen. Um, would they tell me? Hang glider. And the rocks north of here. Okay. We're not uh, close at all. <laughs> but we can get there. We can get there. Um, go hit these things up and we'll go. I tell you. I'm glad we talked to those folks. See, now we get everything. Now we'll have the entire accoutrements. All of the stuff we need for Cube World. That'd be great. Uh, I had a lot of folks leave me comments about modding and stuff. And, you know, um, I get it. A lot of folks just want me to have this modded like crazy. Um, a lot of folks still want me to do breaking the region lock, which will never happen. Um, I have no issues with graphical ones. You know, changing some of the critters so that, you know, we want to make this dragon. Fine, whatever. I'm cool with those things. Um, the ones that I'm looking at getting is... The ones like the Spirit Bell and all those things that once you have them, you have them. Um, I'm okay with that. Because that's a bit of the weird grind that I don't necessarily always like. Because the treasure, especially Treasure Spirit, I find that thing is just so bloody handy. It's I don't find that it... I don't find it breaks the game. I think it adds a, a, a balance to it, to be honest. If you want my opinion on it. Um, because too much of what we do in this game is hunting around for the stuff that we've already gotten before. I'd much rather just go on dungeon quest and take care of things that I haven't done before. Um, and that's just me. Uh, F. Oh, I did have it on. Okay. So that one's done. That's what the other one is over here. I don't think that this will be a... Um, it could be. You never know. You never know. It is. Wow, you don't see a life shrine for like days and then all of a sudden you've got two of them next door to each other. Delightful. Oh. That could be worse. It could be a lot worse. So we are going to go to the north as far as we can. Okay. We'll car village it. That's where we're getting it. We're going to go to it from there. So we will head that away. To the rocks. Um, one thing that uh, seems to have not survived the transition to me back to work is my DJing. I'm kind of sad about it. Um, my schedule that I have currently won't allow for it on the days that I was doing it. And I was doing sun uh, Wednesday and Saturday nights. Uh, working a 10 hour shifts on both of those days. I'm just not going to have the energy for it. I may try Saturday. We'll see how it goes. Um, but last week I was exhausted after <laughs> just after work, and I and I still have to do my recording. So that's the only issue I'm running into. Um, I'll take a look. It's not a hard no, um, but it's definitely a no for now, um, which sucks because I really enjoy it. I really I've like honestly, it's been one of my favorite things that I've done uh, in the pandemic. 
So it's um, it's good. It's already missed by me. And the other part of it too is that um, my uh, computer for work kind of takes up a lot of desk space now that I had for my DJ gear. So I really just don't even have the setup for it any longer. Like I just can't like logistically set it up. So it's like, uh, cause I was looking at it on Saturday thinking, okay, maybe I can. And I, I, I couldn't, couldn't do it at all, but we'll see. Maybe after moving into a new apartment, we'll see what I got. Um, you know, I, I won't say no forever, but no for now is the thing. And it's not like I was getting tons of views or anything on it. Again, it's not why I do any of the stuff that I do, but, um, I was enjoying it. And I think that's the important thing. I'm really going to miss that. I'm really going to miss that. And I'm going to not miss not having a hang glider. Yay! Hang glider! You coming? Okay. Did I name him? Bugsy Malone. You don't know what Bugsy Malone is? Um, it's a movie from when I was a kid, and it had Scott Baio uh, when he when he was just a kid, and a whole bunch of kid actors at the time. Um, and it was like a gangster film, and like every actor in the in the movie was all kids, and it was great. It was like like it, it was like film noir kind of thing and they all played like it was hilarious and the cast is like outstanding cast like so many really good actors but they were all kids um i haven't watched it in years and now i'm contemplating getting seeing if i could find a copy of that oh i'd love to see if that ever came out on dvd i, I had it on vhs that'd be something i'd love to see oh god so many so many good memories for that. And the funny thing is, like, the why it's such a good memory for me as a child is on the weekends, my mom used to take my sister and I to the movies. Um, they used to have kid matinees and stuff. And uh, a lot of times we'd get dropped off and we would just go in and watch movies and then we'd have to call home and then she'd come pick us up. Or she would, you know, uh, you know, drive over and pick us up knowing what time it was going to be done. And um, this one time, it was in an area of uh, Fredericton, New Brunswick, where... Um, it was it was a long distance, so she decided she wanted to go to it with us, which was great. Uh, gloves, look at this. We did it. Uh, I think I screwed that up. Yeah, okay. So that's good. So anyway, she decided she was going to go to the movie with us, which was great. My sister and I always loved going to movies and stuff with my mom, so it was like, yay! Uh, no issues, but... Um, they didn't have Bugsy Malone. And she wanted to go see it too because she'd you know, seen what it was and she thought it was going to be a cute movie. Uh, we're going to go northwest. So uh, it ended up being a Godzilla movie instead. Uh, and I'd never seen Godzilla up to that point. Like it was a thing that I'd heard about but I'd never watched any of the movies. Um, and it was a brand new Godzilla movie apparently. And it was the one that had like the uh, the robot version, like Ultraman or whatever it was. Like, all I remember is there was a kid on a duck in a lake getting sucked in. It was really weird. It was great, um, but like we ended up watching that instead. And as soon as my mom heard it was Godzilla, she was like, "Oh no!" She didn't want to see it, and she actually really enjoyed it. And uh, so that was it was fun. And I think that was that's why Bugsy Malone means something to me. Is like it triggers a really good memory in my head and then the next week uh, they had Bugsy Malone so we actually went back to see it and uh, it was great but I think at the time Godzilla had left a bigger impression on me at, at that moment but now Bugsy Malone has left a bigger impression on me which is interesting it's always interesting to see how your brain like I know as a kid that Godzilla I was enamored by him because uh, dinosaurs and he was like a, like a living dinosaur that shot laser beams and stuff and made and then all the disco dancing he did. Oh, man, it was great. I loved it. And the campness. The, I love the campiness of it. Ancient Ruins. So this is going to be another one. 
where we will find a set of stairs going in, I would assume. Lore up here. Okay. Now I am seeing... Get over here, you. Bugs, I'm alone. Um, trying to remember. Some of the, the music in that was great, too. Um, the Robin Hood movie, the Disney one that was animated, I think that one of the um, folks that did a song for that did the one for Bugs and Malone. Uh, Paul Daniels, is that the name I'm thinking? I'm trying to remember. So I guess I'm not going over to that. Yeah, so that was a thing that I'm not going to. Well, it's okay. We'll just go this way. And I'm fine and happy with it. This has been fun. Uh, we should be able to go over now. Let's see what we got over here. And I just heard my other phone go off, so I only get messages if it's an email or if it's a um, message from my, um, my my supervisor. So probably tell me when my schedule is for tomorrow. Yahoo! It's, uh, I'm recording this early in the afternoon on, um, on Tuesday. Uh, just was recording a little bit with armor, and the heat got to him, and he couldn't do anymore. We were playing a little bit of Call of the Wild Hunter, and uh, yeah, he was and understandable. This heat is oppressive. Bad enough in here with an air conditioning on. I don't want to even think what it's like in Toronto without AC. And we're expecting another two weeks of this. Like, this is not good. Uh, this is not Canadian weather. We were used to getting mid-20s like when I was a kid like you would get maybe one day of 27 28 degrees and the rest of it would be in the mid-20s or like 21 22 degrees centigrade like I remember going to Florida and feeling like it was super hot and now we get as hot as it gets in Florida and that's not that's not normal that's not the, that's not the normal I'm used to anyway it's not and I'm not using that no, new normal term because I refuse I refuse. Uh, Cedar Grove. See what he is. See, at least I've got a little buddy here to help. Depends on the, the strength of this. I mean, if it's white star, we should be able to. Because we've got a little bit of the armor here. So even though we can't do tons of damage, we should be able to... Yeah, this is going to still be rough because they're possessed. Okay, we'll whittle them down. Get in there, Bugsy. Bugsy Malone. That's a good way to end the day. Even if I don't make it, we're having fun. Okay. Oh, didn't have to make a potions yet. That's delightful. Still another 15 seconds. Didn't mean to do that yet. Okay. Guys, you gotta just piss off for a hot second. Let me take your boss on by myself. Okay. Yeah, the... Ugh. Oh, that's great. And he's red now. I'm going to run away. I don't know how long he's going to follow me. That's what you get. Okay, we're just going to run away real quick. Let's see if I can make some potions real quick. Still on my ass? No. Didn't even make these yet, so I was stupid on every level. Let's do that. Make flasks. Oh, well, I'm glad that we had this today. This has been fun. I've been, uh, it's been a good day. Having some good memories come back. Oh, I love that. 
Yeah, it's been interesting over the last while. Um, everything going on, uh, paying attention to your past has become something I like to focus on. Um, I have a lot of good memories, a lot of stories in my head that I haven't really told anybody. And I've decided that if any of them pop into my head while I'm recording, I'm going to talk about them. So that's why the Bugs Malone thing, it means something to me. Drink a potion, you dingbat. It means a lot to me, actually, because it's a good memory. I have to talk to my mom. I talked to her yesterday, and she's freaking out because uh, she lives in South Carolina, and they're having spikes there. And I get it because I was, you know, Montreal was having the spikes here. We were in dire straits for a couple months. We were the uh, ooh, seventh largest of it in the world at one point, the city wise. So, like, yeah, and that's been shadowed entirely uh, now with what's happening down there in the, in the States. And, and that just saddens me endlessly that um, so many people that I, you know, love and care about are, you know, not in a good place. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of scared people. And, you know, people act funny when they're scared, too. That was delightful. I like that he just got out of my way. 26 seconds. I'm not sure if we can take this guy out, but it's worth a shot. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. How are we doing on potion? Yeah, I'm going to burn through a lot of my potions on this one. I can tell that right now. Uh, let's do this real quick. Yeah, that does a lot of damage, too. That's worth it. If I can just hold my own and do little bits here and there. Ooh, he wrecked our pet. I wrecked our pet. Now I'm thinking of erector sets. Another good child memory. I feel like a kid, man. I think a lot of it, too, is like my son uh, he's turned 17 in April. And he bought himself a car. You know, he's growing up on me. And uh, it's been a few years since I've seen him. And that's hard. It's hard to love somebody as much as I do. And just want to be his dad and want to be close. And I'm far away and stuck. And that's the hard, hardest part of uh, this pandemic is like... Um, he came down with strep throat in the middle of it, you know, and there was a touchy moment where they were both uh, him and my ex-wife were worried that he may actually be really sick. And, uh, you know, fortunately, they figured out what it was and, you know, they were able to take care of it with antibiotics and stuff. But it doesn't make it easier being as far away as I am from him. It just sucks. It really sucks. And that's the hardest thing I have to deal with. And so... It's like th that's where a lot of my nostalgia thoughts are coming from is because I'm thinking of like what's happening when I was his age and, like, and I recently got in contact with an old girlfriend from a university that I met when I was 18 so roughly just like a year older than he is right now and like 30 some odd years later like she's left an impression on me and I like I remember all the feelings I had, everything is still there, right? So, like, I'm still remembering how important she was to me when I was that kid. And, like, here's my ch child on the verge of this whole thing. And he's, you know, he's got a girlfriend and everything. And, you know, I just, like, I know what... I know where he is, man. And I just want... Like, I wish that I was just there, you know, just to hang out with him and, you know, let him know. You know, I got you. I know what's going on, my friend. So, anyway, we did it. We defeated a boss. And I'm happy with that. Anyway, I'm going to end things here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I know I certainly enjoyed myself playing today. Not to worry, we'll be back again on Friday with another episode of Cube World, Valoran, and what comes up? Oh, Torchlight 3. That's the three that we do, our trifecta, every Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. Anyway, I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. This is a song for all the 